Typical, isn't it? Two World Cup cities, I go to pubs and it's completely empty here in Chilavins and there is two or three people who are actually watching the football. Ever wondered what nightlife in Chilavins looks like? Well, this is it. It's like a shopping mall for nightlife. Well, I don't know, it's 3 a.m. in the morning here. Don't ask me why I'm still awake. Bowling alley, Irish pubs, karaoke bar. So, here it is, Chilavins. I bet you are dying to see it. Ah, the joys of Russian traffic jams. And what that means is, I hate to tell you guys, but I haven't had a shower. Um, I know I've only been on the road for one day and already I look homeless. Well, as my mum or wife would probably say, still look homeless, but I've got the beard, so I'm the one who's laughing last. One of the joys of motorway traveling in Russia are these absolutely enormous traffic jams. Why am I talking about joy? I bloody hate it. The one good thing there is, just look at the little view over there. It may not be absolutely stunning, but I tell you what, it's not half bad. Well, I can certainly see why Ufa was not picked to be a World Cup host city. This is what I've driven four hours to get to. I just got to show you one little sign that I spotted on the door. Just look at that. It's been a bit of a testing day, if I'm honest. Little sleep the last two nights, but we're almost in Samara, only 100 kilometers to go. And you get little treats like this. Just look at that for a sunset. I might whinge when I get tired, but things like this make it worth it. Hello guys, welcome to Samara. Day four of World Cup in a car and challenge one accepted, Mr. Darwin. Now, I'm afraid I haven't been able to find any fans who have recovered from the hangover from last night to join me, but I am about to swim in the Volga. It's actually illegal, but who f cares? <laughs> well, that is bloody freezing.